Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and this is a short video on how to use an Amazon Web Services EC2 um, Amazon Machine Image or AMI instance to quickly set up a training environment. So here's my contact information, and here's the steps that I'm going to be showing you in this video. First of all, the reason to do this is if you don't have time to set up um, a base OS or you're not an expert in virtualization, Hyper-V, VMware, whatever, it can be faster. Um, it can also be cheaper if you want to test some high-end features. I do a lot of, you know, SQL Server database work, and I, I want to have more powerful machines. I don't really want to buy that hardware. Um, so the way it works is you get an account, you uh, find this, uh, this image, then you start it, configure it, you know, add whatever you want to do, save it, run it when you need to, and then the key thing is you, you set it to sleep um, when you don't need to run it during the time where you're training or learning the features because it's, um, you don't, you're charged only for the storage space. The charges are for compute when you're running it and storage space. And the storage space charges are really, really cheap. So um, when I've used this, it, it's cost me like 10 bucks a month to study for you know 40 hours on a new feature. So it's been really, really handy. When you're done, you gotta make sure that you turn it off and you delete um, the image. So I'll show you how this works. Let me go over to the uh, um, AWS console. So you sign in and get an account. So here I've already signed in, and you can see the URL is console.aws.amazon.com. And then you're going to go to the um, EC2 um, image creation area. So once you're there, and I've actually set one up just so I can come back and show it to you, um, you can either you know create your images and upload them. That's if you did want to do virtualization, but that's not really what we're talking about. Um, what we want to do is we want to go over to the AMIs over here. So the AMIs are the images that somebody has created that you can use as base. Now you can see it, this is your little dashboard, so it tells you what's running. So I do have that one instance running. So it does remind you, it shows you know, where it's running and all that good stuff. Like I said, you do want to pay attention to the billing too, because especially if you're using the higher end um, compute power, you know, it, it, it does incur charges. So you want to look at look at the billing and see if that's within your budget. But I have found that to be cheaper than like buying a laptop or spending hours setting up virtualization. So um, the trickiest thing is once you click on the AMI, and I, I just set this up so because of the video time, what you want to do is you'll get this list of these AMI images and you want to filter them. So I've filtered and I just spent some time um, playing around because this is the trickiest part of this. The metadata isn't standard, so it's kind of hard um, to see what's on. Um, and the fact that, you know, I do a lot of SQL Server, so I look for SQL Server instances already set up. So I, I searched on EBS images here. I searched on the Windows operating system. And I searched on SQL. And um, what I see here is that I have, you know, all different configurations of Windows, plus I have different um, instances of SQL. So if I wanted to, you know, um, use one of these, I just right click and say launch. And then I say the instance type. So in this case, I'm going to say like extra large, and that's a certain number of cores. You know, where where in the country it's going to be. Um, then I'm going to go on and click through the rest of this here, um, how I'm going to connect to it, and how I'm going to secure it. Again, these are not big considerations for for training. And then um, basically, I'm going to say create create this instance. I'm going to say launch this instance, um, and then close. And it's going to take between five and fifteen minutes. So now I'm going to go back to my other console here, and I'm going to uh, refresh this. And I had another instance already up, so I'll kind of show you how that, that works once this refreshes. Um, so once it's done, then you have a, a key pair, which uh, so right now it's got the one instance with the two volumes. And see, there it is. So I actually set this up twice, and I can give it a name. I could say, like, you know, Lynn training here and, and you know, somebody else training here. So once it goes to the running state, see they're both initializing, then you right click and you say connect. And you're going to connect using um, remote desktop. And that's going to be the, the connection. And then you're going to log in with the credentials and that comes from your key pair. So um, pr it's pretty easy to do. Things that I've gotten stuck on have been the, the security groups. You're going to want to look at that and making sure that you have the, the key pair for the credentials. Like I said, once it's up and going, then it will just be a virtual machine you can access. Make sure when you're not using it that you um, that you set it to you know hibernate or sleep, and then when you're done, make sure you right click and then um, you uh, delete it. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful to you, and uh, have fun using um, EC2 as your training instance. Thanks a lot.